everyone, it's Curtis back with another episode of Mystery Pop Theater. I have been away for a while and I've got a lot of stuff to get through in this video. So the main point, the main focus of this video is I ordered one of the $75 Funko blind boxes that were dropped about a week ago as of the recording in this video uh, with a chance at Freddy as Genie, Metallic Freddy as Genie, or Freddy as Frankenstein. Uh, but first of all, I would like to uh, read a letter that I got from David Soffin. Um, if you haven't checked out Dave's channel, um, I'll put a link right up here for it. You can go check it out. He's doing a lot of giveaways right now. Um, I think he's planning out his uh, 789 and 78900 and 1000 subscriber giveaway. Um, I've had this letter since Monday, but I've been holding on to it because I knew these boxes were coming. I actually haven't gotten um, any boxes at all for the last week. It was kind of weird because <laughs> I get boxes so often. Um, so let's see what David has to say. What Dave has to say. Oh, cool. Okay, so. I did get a Big Dog Dave sticker, which I had seen um, on his Instagram and on his channel, uh, so thank you. This will go with my other stickers that I've gotten from other YouTube friends. And there's a letter with, oh, I see what this drawing is. <laughs> uh, it's pretty short and sweet. I'm going to actually put this up on screen so you can see it. Um, for all, in all of its glory <laughs> but it just says I'm sending you a sticker exclamation point and as you can see there is the pea shooter from plants vs zombies uh, and then Dave's signature so um, with a metallic green pen that's awesome so this will go with my my letter collection um, I thank you Dave <laughs> I appreciate I love your artwork um, he sent me a sticker. I sent Dave a sticker because we've, you know, sent stuff back and forth in the mail before. But I do have, um, I do have some Mystery Pop Theater stickers. Uh, if anyone's interested, reach out to me on Instagram or send me something in the mail to my address that's in the About section or in the information down below. And I'll send you a sticker just for saying hi. Alright, so I've got a couple of pickups. I'm going to like torture you guys with the uh, <laughs> finding out what's in this box until the very latest. I'm, I'm probably going to put a time like right here for uh, when you can skip ahead to see what I actually get in the blind box. But I do have a couple of mail pickups I want to do real quick just to kind of show you. Uh, anyway, I've got a seven bucks a pop. I had some good luck with them again and actually got a pop that I was after one that I wanted because you know when they do their their pop drops when they announce what's available ahead of time um, this I think was from a blind drop though that's where they don't tell you what's going to be available uh, and I saw this one on here and I'm trying to expand my Freddy collection my Freddy Funko collection um, so we've got our We've got our double bubble gum, which I'm not much of a bubble gum chewer, but um, I'll show you the one I got. We have, and I didn't really pay attention to the to the uh, the number, like what condition it's in out of ten. I think it says between seven and ten. Uh, I got the uh, Freddy Funko as uh, superhero, which was a Funko Shop exclusive. Not much to it on the back there, but. Uh, there, he, there he is, Freddy Funko as a superhero. Uh, I think there's a glow in the dark version of this, but the price was the price was right on this one. So I got this one from Seven Bucks a Pop. Uh, there was another one that was on there, but it had sold out by the time I ran across it. Uh, it's kind of hard to navigate that when they do these pop drops, but that's what I got from Seven Bucks a Pop. Always happy with what they send. Um, this next one is a pop-up shop. I believe this was about a week ago, last Friday, and it was, it's in the ad icons line, so I had to get it. It's a breakfast cereal mascot that I wasn't really familiar with, and I kind of had to do some research on him. But my main, 
thing I collect is cereal mascots. Um, so I had to get this one. And gosh, it's heavy. Um, I got Big Yella from Sugar Corn Pops. I mean, that's that's how old this is. This is back before uh, they removed the word sugar from every box of cereal that existed. But this guy is all chin. Uh, he's he's an interesting looking pop, but there's the artwork on the back, and he'll go nicely with my other my other ad icons. I did order, what was the other ad? Oh, Captain Cupcake. Uh, he's on his way, which as of the as of this recording, he's still available for sale on the pop-up shop. I'm really surprised that he didn't sell out. Those hostess ad icons usually sell out, so kind of surprising on that one. Let's talk about the Funko pop-up shop blind bundle. Uh, this is a bundle of six pops that was available on the pop-up shop, uh, $75, which works out to be $12.50 per pop. There's one pop that was uh, exclusive to San Diego Comic-Con from this year, and then five pops that are exclusive to the pop-up shop. So what I'm hoping for, uh, I'd love to get, I still need the orange Findu Chomp, I still need to get the bloody monkey assassin. Um, what I'm probably going to get is a bunch of um, Fantastic Beasts pop and Aladdin pops that I don't collect. But the, the main one I'm looking for, I'd be happy with any of the Tiki's. I've seen some people pull some of those limited Tiki's from, uh, from Fun Days. The Frankenstein, the Genie, um, any of those would be great. So I think once I kind of reveal what the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive is, we'll know whether or not I have something of value or something big. Unfortunately, the box got kind of damaged. This is how it showed up today. It looks like someone just kicked it. But these are double boxed from, and I haven't watched any, well, I've watched a couple other unboxing videos just to see what kind of stuff people were getting, but um, yeah, let's just see what, how this is. Yeah. So here's the inside, the box inside, and that corner got a little damage. Uh, that's okay, like I'm not expecting anything major out of this. Um, I am going to open it from the bottom because I think they just put everything in there with uh, the top of the pop box on top. So this way I should just see the bottoms. I have no way to tell what order these are in, which one is the Comic-Con exclusive. So we're just going to do this and uh, see what happens. Okay, I can see one because of the way that the box is folded and it's in the damaged corner and I think I'm okay with this one being damaged so I'm going to pull that one out first if I can get it. Yep. Uh, we've got Fantastic Beasts. Whooper. And yeah, this box got trashed. So luckily our Comic-Con one did not get damaged. Whichever one that may be. I don't care that, that Whooper's damaged. I don't, I've never seen this Fantastic Beasts movie. I don't collect these. Uh, this is probably something I'll give away or throw away. <laughs> no, I'll, um, I'll probably give it away or if anyone's interested in it, you know. I'll probably do, you can have it, just pay me shipping and I'll send it to you. Um, Alright, so let's do the other, that was the worst corner, so the rest of these um, should be fine. So I'm just going to pull out the next one and see what we get. I did look. Rafiki. Flocked Rafiki from The Lion King. Uh, apparently they had a lot left over. I do remember when this went on the, the pop-up shop. This one, the, the bottom is loose. But it was again, it was on that side that had damage. So we've got Rafiki from The Lion King. Let's 
do our next one. Oh. I did Ripley Holding Jonesy from Alien. Pop-up shop exclusive with the 40th anniversary sticker. I don't know if you can see that. I forgot they had this one. Um, it's not something I collect. So they had probably a lot of stock left over and that's why it's in this box. Fun fact, I've never seen Alien. Okay. Big Al. So we have a spastic plastic, which I am a spastic plastic collector. So I do already have this one. This is a duplicate. Uh, I do like this one because he's holding his, he's got his martini. Yeah, with the olive. So I have both variants of this. I've got the green one and the purple one. So yeah, big out. So I see one here has a sticker on it. I'm gonna save that one for last. It has the date sticker on the bottom. The rest of these don't. So, yep, we didn't hit it big because this is the San Diego Comic-Con one, the Toucan, uh, which I did buy. So, nothing major in this box as expected. There you go. So this is also a duplicate. And then let's do our last one. <laughs> Orange gill. Damn it. <laughs> Uh, I already have orange gill. I was hoping for orange fin du chomp, and that's okay. Uh, I knew going into this that it probably would not be anything that would be major uh, or stuff I already had. So of the th six pops, I already had three of them. Uh, I had orange gill, the toucan, and big owl. So that was our blind bundle. Um, these will probably go up on Mercari. I'm not gonna keep any of them, or if anyone's interested, uh, go look on Mercari or send me a message if it's not too late. Um, and that's where you'll find those. So that's all I had for this video. Uh, so thanks for watching. Didn't score big this time, but there's always the next mystery box. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.